Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Avon Academy. Uh, as much as we like these machines, we know they always have these twerks and tweaks that you're like, why is it doing this? Why is it not doing that? So today we're gonna show you what happens if you try to start your machine and it doesn't start, or if you can, can't even get any lights to come on on your machine, on the dash, you know, just some different little things that you can check. Um, obviously there might be some underlying bigger issues, but we're gonna touch the basics. So let's go. We've all experienced it. We jump in the machine, turn the key, and nothing. In this situation, we've got no lights, no beeping, and no indicators whatsoever on the dash. We're dead in the water, it seems. First place we'll check is the battery disconnect switch. Now, while simply turning the key allows us to fire up the machine in this situation, sometimes there are loose connections within the switch that require further diagnosis. For today's video, we're not, we don't have to worry about that. Now, you did notice there that I pointed to the PTO light. I noticed the PTO switch was turned on, and in this particular machine, that doesn't allow the machine to start, so you have to turn that off first. This time we turn the key and we have power. The lights come on, we got the beeping, and the display turns on. However, when we turn the key the whole way to fire up the machine, we've got nothing. We checked that the battery disconnect switch is turned on, so what else could it be? Let's take it a step farther and check out the battery terminals. Now, in order to do that safely, Let's go, first we need to turn off the battery disconnect and then we have to remove the side and rear panels to give us easy access to the battery. Sometimes because of the vibration of the machine, these connections become loose and do not allow the machine to fire up. So we'll just check, make sure they're tight, flip the battery disconnect switch, and... Did we actually fry something? So for all the scenarios we're showing you, we set the machine up to malfunction to match this scenario. But turns out in this case, we actually blew a fuse. In the moment, we all thought it was funny, so we kept the camera rolling, but then it hit us. Wait, if you have a battery cable that has come loose, like we're simulating, there's a very real possibility that you could blow a fuse also. So we called Blue Server and did some quick diagnosis to find the source. Figured it could be helpful to leave in the video, so here you go. So this thing's clicking right here. This is your starter solenoid. So the starter solenoid is clicking. That went into like that. All the fuses for your main functions come right into this main power supply. They don't have one. They might have for the lights and stuff. So K11 is a starter. K11 
can't believe we actually find something. There's a little tool. Start your fuse out, which is blown. There's a spare 20 amp. Throw it in there. She'll fire. Well, after that goof up, we found the issue and got the machine fired back up. Put the panels back on and got back to work. <laughs> Next scenario, you turn the key and have power. Now, as much as you guys want to think that this scenario isn't gonna happen to you, You'd be surprised how often people experience this problem. When you go to turn the key, an error message shows up on the display reading wrong start sequence. Now what caused this? Because the hydraulic pedal has been engaged, the machine will not turn on. The solution to this is simple enough. Turn the key off, remove pressure from the pedal, and bingo. Try starting the machine again. Something else to remember, you gotta have weight on the seat for the machine to start. The wrong start sequence comes up again. Now sit back into it again. Another common issue not necessarily pertaining to starting the machine, but one that folks run into quite a bit, is once the machine is running, I can't go forward or backward. What's up? Once again, barring some other deeper rooted issue, there's a good chance you just forgot to put your seatbelt on. Put the seatbelt on and bingo, you should be good to go. The last scenario we want to simulate for you is only a possibility on some of the machines, however it is one that we get called about. On the units that have Kubota's engines, if the hydraulics are locked into the on position, you will hear the engine trying to turn over but not be able to. As soon as the hydraulic switch is turned off, the machine fires right up. So that was just some quick, simple, basic stuff that we went over there. Uh, some of that stuff might have some bigger underlying problems, so if you check that stuff out, it still doesn't start. Definitely give us a call, 717-423-6300.